we've been able to present it to you. So I this know. is exciting that it's new here on the air today. And not only is it new, we put it on a special low featured price and on easy pay. $25.44 to get home something that is dramatic because the size is big. It is kind of like an outdoor museum when you take mm -hmm. a look at this. It's a true piece of art for your outdoor patio garden, however you want to use this. Maybe it's a screen, mm -hmm. as Nancy mentioned, a great place to put around the AC unit to hide some unsightly items. Mm -hmm. Brand, uh, and Nancy Brand Mueller brings us Hello. Plow and Hearth. Hello, Good Christine. You. Great to you see look you. So thank, you. And uh, thank you so much. Great yeah. to be here with you. Tell us a little bit about Plow and Hearth. So Plow and Hearth is a company that's out of Madison, Virginia, and they specialize in those really cool and unique pieces. And I think this year they've really gone into the artistic pieces to help you add your own touch to your garden that's going to make it stand out and add that kind of surprise element and I love these uh, decorative screens they're you know a stake that you're going to stake in the ground but they're made out of metal and they kind of remind me of those kind of screens you would put in like maybe a living room or family room maybe to hide kind of something unsightly or maybe just add that artistic flair so now you can do that in the garden and so what you have is your two choices you're looking at the butterfly version that has two butterflies and I'll show you some details in just a minute to kind of let you understand a little bit about about them. The and then the butterflies three and a half by five feet. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so about, you can see how tall and wide they are. Yep, exactly. About three and a half feet wide, five feet tall. That includes a seven inch stake that's going to go in the ground. So you can see they're pretty good size. In front of you, we have our dragonfly version. The, the butterfly uh, version is more of kind of a coppery tone with some verdigris um, added on to it. And then your dragonfly here is more of a bronze kind mm -hmm. of tone with kind of some different elements that make it look like they're weathered yes. each one of them has that rustic look but that's just kind of added on to there they're not going to change color on you so you can see the beautiful laser cutter cutting on here and just really quick I'm gonna jump in the dragonfly yeah. is by far the most limited so if you're looking at the dragonfly and you like it I definitely wouldn't wait I'm sorry Sean how many did you say we have left to go around about 250 to go wow. around here okay. and the height the dimension on this is about the same it's three feet by five feet so just a little bit smaller as you can see next to the butterfly the laser cut details as you were saying yeah, exactly so you can see all the piercing work that's in here that is done by a laser cut technique which makes it very precise but also very bold and beautiful so this is for something that you want to have out in your garden to be a beautiful artistic piece but also like you said it can hide kind of like that unsightly garbage can area or maybe you have an AC unit that you want to you know hide or maybe you have that spot in your garden that either needs a vantage point so something that sort of kind of divides the the back part from the front part of your yard or maybe it's a place that you just can't grow anything or think about this we are showing it together but what if you separated the stakes and kind of did something abstract amongst the flowers in your yep. garden and people walk by and they're trying to put mm. it together when you go to an art museum sometimes you do that yep and you're supposed to see whatever you see or you you get to kind of tell the story. You can have fun and play with it that way. Exactly. Too. We have these placed so that each one of the five panels is right close and you'll see it right there. It's right close. But your idea of separating it, I've gone to art museums where there's different paintings that are showing just a portion of the picture. So as you said, you could kind of separate this out, maybe an inch, two, possibly three. So when someone looks at it, they kind of have to figure it out a little right. bit. So the other thing I would love this in, if you have a condo or if you have an apartment where you are sharing like yes. right next to somebody else and you want to create Privacy a little dividing mm -hmm. you certainly could do that and then add some flowers kind of down below Great but idea. either way it's such a cool decorative piece and so unique I've really never seen anything for outside that's like this agreed totally Hands different down mm -hmm. so dramatic so bold so beautiful yet so durable as well it kind of already has that weathering especially on the butterfly and tiki vibe so you don't have to worry about this whether it is indoor or outdoor it's going to withstand the elements exactly and you know imagine this up against a white fence so you know I'm going to kind of step back a little bit so my shirt yeah. isn't interfering with it so imagine this up against a white fence or if you have um, you know a gray shed or a, just even kind of a natural color shed this would be so pretty and then put some pretty flowers in front of it mm. um, it's it can be that screen to kind of you know hide something but also it can enhance right. an area 
area that maybe is just a little bit boring, maybe you've got that fence line, you know that there's really nothing out there and you kind of have a hard time growing flowers because it gets that afternoon sun and it just kind of burns everything that you yeah. put back there. I know when I lived in California, we had a fence line that just no matter what I planted back there, it got too much sun. We lived in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina and we had the same issue and the soil wasn't great. So it seemed right. like a lot of things that I planted would die out. So maybe you are having trouble planting, add life and dimension. Mm -hmm. Both of these are about three feet by three five feet. feet. Mm -hmm. You have a choice of the butterfly, which you are seeing, and then the more limited option would be the choice of the dragonfly. It is available for you on Easy Pay, $25 and change. You have three months to try out something that is brand new to us here from Plow and Hearth. This is the first time you're seeing it on the air. It's a debut. It a is. nice new presentation for you of M55789. Beautiful, beautiful look. Yep, I love that dragonfly that has the cattails with it. So pretty. And the butterfly has a little bit more of a rich red tone to it with a verdigris on it, so it's a little more copper. Now that is added on. All this, these tones that are on here are purposely put on there to make it look like it's rustic, like it's been out in your garden for so a long cool. time. But that is just the way it's designed. And it comes in five panels. Okay. And my suggestion when you get these home is when you unpack them, lay them out like on your patio or your grass. That's what I I did. There's five pieces that come with it. Is there and any assembly of the five pieces? Not at all. Okay. It's just kind of laying them out and getting the pattern so you know which piece is which. Really great instructions that tell you which piece is which and then I just stake them in the ground and there's seven inch stakes that are holding this up and you know when Plow and Hearth had these they could not keep them in stock because mm. people went wild. Right. Thought they were so cool They're and so different. They are so cool and Plow and Hearth is a catalog company. Yes. People get very excited when the catalog comes in the mail but but the reason why you come to us here at QVC is because in this particular instance, we have a special low featured price, mm -hmm. so it's value. And you pick it up on Easy Pay. That's even a better value because you have three months of $25 and change to pay this off. And I would definitely get the Dragonfly while we still have it. That being being the most limited, you also have the choice of the Butterfly. Maybe you choose if the Dragonfly has a special meaning or story or the Butterfly has a special mm -hmm. meaning or story, or you just like the finish of the more copper look or the other butterfly has a little pop of blue in there. So. That's right, like a little vertigree, just gorgeous. Vertigree. Thank you so much, Nancy, Thanks. good to see you. All right, as we continue on here in our QVC in the garden, we are gonna be heading on over to a pressure washer, but before we get to that, we're gonna remind you of what we had earlier, excuse me, coming up a little bit later, it is Barbara King's special planter faucet.